Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I am back with another recreating spring Pinterest outfits video. It is simply amazing that you guys have been loving these videos as much as I have, so let's let's keep these good vibes going because I love it. I love scrolling Pinterest. I love getting inspiration to use clothes in my own closet, and I also like it as using a tool to figure out if a piece is worth an investment um, to add into my wardrobe. So yeah, like always, these videos are to help encourage you to use what you already have in your wardrobe, so I really encourage you to browse Pinterest, find outfits that really resonate with you, and go to your closet and kind of mix and match and put things together, and you'll be surprised with what you put together. Sometimes you just need a little inspiration. It's very simple. It's like saying that a cook doesn't ever use a recipe. It's not true. Sometimes we just need some inspiration and we can make it our own. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive in to look number one. I feel like this is my uniform, if you will. I don't know if you've ever heard people talking about their like uniform. Mine would be jeans and a button up, jeans and a t-shirt, Je jeans in general, but jeans and a button up with a sweater over the shoulders. It's everything. I love this. I think this is a perfect, um, spring transition, especially if you live somewhere like the Midwest. Like right now it's 60 degrees out. Tomorrow's going to be 30. So you just never know what you're getting. Um, but I think this one's perfect. Now she's wearing heels. I'm swapping them out because like we know, we can always change things and still kind of morph it into our own style. So don't make it put you in a box. Use inspiration. So let's go ahead and dive into look number one and see how I do. For look number one, she has just a basic blue oxford button up so i'm gonna put that on and switch it into some dark jeans hers also have a raw hem at the bottom i just feel like i don't need a pair of raw hem denim in every single outfit so let's see if i can i mean not in every single outfit in every single color but i know raw hem is just so big for the spring so let me see if i can just make these work i'm hopeful let's go ahead and change and we'll meet back to accessorize i also have like a one of our Lowe's Coco Melon band-aids on because I don't think we own regular band-aids anymore. And I decided to grade my thumb knuckle into my cheese for my eggs this morning. <laughs> well, gross me out. Anyway, um, so these are the jeans that I have. Abercrombie's black jeans are super weird. So not super weird. They just fit different than all of their other jeans. Um, they're like a true raw denim. They're weird because like I feel like these fit me but don't fit me all at the same time. Like, I don't know. I had to size up. Nonetheless, that's what I was getting at. But I do really like these. Um, but they don't have the raw hem at the bottom. They're just regular length. But we're going to see if it can still work. I know it can still work. So let's do it. Let's change it into our top. I have not heard the new like Beyonce song in full, her country song. But I've heard it enough on TikTok where like stuck in my head constantly whenever i take a white shirt off the top of like off my head or put it on it always reminds me of these things um when you're in japan and you're like going to certain like dressing rooms they have these like mesh bags that you put over your head so that your makeup doesn't get on the clothes and it's actually genius but it looks really weird and i remember the first time i saw it i'm like i me to put that over my my head ma'am and they're not reusable so they're just like a throw and go anyway i need them for taking off on and off white shirts but let's pop this guy in she's a full tuck and she's wearing heels like i said i'm not not doing heels today but i think that my little chanel aspergils will look really cute with this Ooh. this like tucky and in the bolt in the back will kind of alleviate my jean gapping so let's she has her hair kind of like in a half up half down situation which is good because my hair is running in it i'm also debating if i want to go back like more blonde and i'm kind of blonde right now but i'm not like really blonde not blonde enough i don't think i don't know okay so base layer is on She's got hers like rolled, cuffed a little bit. She has a ton of bracelets on, but we're not gonna, we're just gonna keep our watch for the time being. All right, so let's slide into these shoes and see how they look. These 
these jeans honestly fit or hit a good part where they're not too long like they hang over the top but they don't like hang too much and like pull love i think this is cute um and now let's throw on a bag or ba this is not a bag sweater what is wrong with me today I see a lot of comments like how do i keep my sweater on my shoulders and I, i've talked about this a million times but i will honestly say over a button-up i feel like is the hardest because if you don't button your buttons all the way up then you're constant it's kind of falling back so I can find that it can be a little tricky with a button up, but I still do it because I still love it. One thing also is a crossbody bag always holds it into place. She's not using a crossbody bag, she's using a tote, um, which is really cute, but she has some sunnies on, and we all know the drill, I don't own a million bags, so we're going to just use what I have. I love this. I love this dark, the dark jeans with this. I wouldn't think dark, shh. Yeah, so annoying. Um, why are metal hangers the most annoying investment I've ever made in my life? Anyway, do you ever like make a commitment and you're just like, I refuse to admit that this was a bad decision because that was <laughs> these hangers. I guess there's worse things to to make bad decisions about, like your partner, things like that. Anyway, let's go with a black bag. Um, I feel like I kind of do want to invest in some more tote bags soon because I don't think they're going away. And I think they're actually super practical. So let me know where you guys get your bags. I did just get another bag, but it's a handheld one slash crossbody. I'm just a crossbody girl. This one also comes with crossbody, but I like that this strap is here. So what do we think? How would I do? I think this is cute. Cute. So yeah, I love this. I think obviously you can pair this with heels, um, but this is so cute. So, so cute. Super cute. And I love how this look came together. So, what do you think? How do we do with look number one? I think we nailed it. Let's move on to look number two. All right, look number two, I feel like she's the same person as the first one. I could be completely wrong. Nonetheless, she's got super cute style, and I see her a lot, specifically this purse that she has. I love the color of this purse. It's a muted, like, olive green, and I love it. But I love this look. I think it's very classic, very Parisian, very spring with the stripes and the white pants. I don't own white trousers or anything like that, so I'm gonna swap it for jeans and see the desired, or see if it if it does what it needs to do, you know? Um, but I love a good striped shirt, and I have so many, so I'm always looking for fun ways to style it. This one's obviously very simple, very classic. If you do not want a white and navy blue striped shirt in your wardrobe, I think something you should invest in and add into your wardrobe but let's see how i do with that look number two i think this is going to be a classic staple look with the white and the stripes and all of it so let's see how i do with look number two right. so for look number two we are changing into white jeans which are very spring i feel like the black jeans work for the spring for this outfit because all the other things are light in color but we're gonna change into my Everlane white jeans which they no longer sell anymore um if you're looking for a good pair of white jeans i would suggest the levi 50 ones but i want to see if i want to crop those not crop them but cut them for from here on out so we're going to see but in this she's wearing white um trousers but we're going to swap them for something else so let's change into our white jeans and our striped shirt and we'll accessorize cowboys also don't drive a lexus be like park your toyota park your ford park your chevy all right so these are the Everlane. i don't know but they um they no longer sell them i think i got them on pillar sale anyways but they no longer sell them but you see how they're already kind of cropped at the bottom i feel like i could just cut that hem out or just like undo the hem and it would be what it is but anyway i feel like they're just at like kind of an awkward length is it just me? Anyway, nonetheless, let's um, throw on our Orions. Orions, I think that's what they're called. Um, she has black ones, but I only have brown. And I would still wear brown with this outfit anyways. Um, so let's do that and then I'll switch the shirt. This is my Everlane. It's not Braxton. It's like Bree, Breeden, Breton, whatever um striped shirt i love these i now own them in three of their colors and they're perfect i did get this one in a medium and i like the way this fits a little bit more i think than the small 
is much more oversized, but I like it. Okay, so this is the look we've got so far. And she's got the cutest green purse, but I don't. I'm going to go with red because she has like this red statement necklace. And I just don't think I would wear, I don't own anything like that to begin with. And I don't necessarily know if I'd wear that. So I feel like the red bag will kind of get that job done. This is kind of chunky. Our necklaces are in. Our bold necklace is coming back in. Do you guys remember the bobble bar like huge statement? Crazy. I mean, fashion is cyclical. It'll come back. Oh, speaking of coming out, we're talking about something else. I have this really terrible habit that Scott absolutely hates where like I take a bite. <laughs> I talk with my mouth full and it's, it's disgusting. I'm aware, but like I don't even notice when I do it because I do, <laughs> do it very often, um, especially like late at night when I'm like exhausted. I will like purposely be telling him a story and I'll like not eat when he's talking and then the minute I go to talk, I take a bite. Like. I wish I knew why. Anyway, nonetheless. Oh, what I was saying, I was like, what, I, what was I getting at? Um, did y'all see that puddle jumper, not puddle jumper, puddle pushers or like the capris are coming back? I feel like this is as capri-ish as I'll get, um, but who knows? They're like coming from like to here. I can't, or maybe below the knee. Anyway, that was even like before my time, I feel like, but maybe I wore that when I was a kid. Okay, this is it. It's cute. Cute. I'm gonna add the pop of red with a bag. She has the necklace, like I said, but I'm gonna use my little charm necklace and I love this bag. I'm so sad that this bag isn't available in the red anymore. A lot of you guys have been saying that you're like sad about that. I agree because it's such a cute bag. I still think it'd be worth getting in like the black or the brown, but the dang. Oh, hers is crossbody too. Well, I just took off my straps. So just imagine it sitting here, but I love her bag, so cute, but I think she has, yeah, I need to know where that bag is from. Did y'all know that you can do this like reverse search on the Google app? I have the Google app only to like, um, what do you call it, like two-way authenticate, authentic, whatever, to log into my YouTube. <laughs> and um, I didn't realize you can reverse search images, so if there's an image of something you really like, you can just take a screenshot of it and put it through there and I'll give you all the options. Amazing. Anyway, maybe I should do that with her bag. What do we think? How did I do? I think this is very cute. This is very like Palm Springs. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of Palm Springs, sorry I go on so many tangents. Have you all seen the new Kate Spade golf themed collection? My heart. I want those little kitten heels with the golf ball. They're so dang cute. So cute. Anyways, this is giving very much that. Um, like this is giving like Highland Park mom meets West Palm Beach. Yeah, I don't know. It's cute. I think I would rather this with like a looser pair of pants slash jeans. I feel like the tightness is a little dated, not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't think I love these pants anymore, which is hence why I never wear them and I bought a different pair. But I was trying. They're cute. They're so comfortable, but I think they're a little tight on me. Even though they're not tight on me, they're tight here. I just got some meat on my hips. Let's move on to outfit number three. Look, like number three. I feel like this denim look, denim with different colored denims. It's still like Canadian tuxedo, but within my comfort zone. Um, I love this. This denim shirt, I feel like I've worn in pretty much every single one of my Pinterest videos. I don't know, it's just such a staple, it's such a classic, and I absolutely love how it looks with so many different items. I feel like it can make trousers look casual. I think her distressed, like, um, not distressed, but unfinished hem at the bottom is so cute, like cut off jeans, raw hem, whatever you call it. I love that look. I don't actually own a pair, but I now own two white pairs, so I'm thinking about taking the one that I currently have and cutting off the hem, so we'll see because I'm not going to buy another pair of white jeans. <laughs> so we'll see if I like that outfit and feel like these pants can be cut off uh, into raw hem since I do have another pair. But I'm excited to go into look number three. I think it's just effortlessly cute. It's still layering if you live in a cold place with the socks and the Birkenstocks. Yes, everything about it. Let's do it. 
Okay, we're supposed to be keeping these pants on for look number three as well. Um, which I'm going to do, okay? Let's just bear with these pants. So we're just going to switch into this denim top and accessorize. Ever since having my child, I mean, it's been almost four years, <laughs> but either way, weight just distributes differently in your body. If you've had a kid, you'll know what I mean. Like it, it just sits differently. Even if you're the same weight pre post baby, like it just sits in different places. And I don't know, maybe it's age as well, probably it's both, but you just notice, okay? <laughs> I might let the hem out of these pants and just see, since I'm not gonna wear them regular anyways, but I like these pants when I have a longer top because I feel like it's not as like noticeable that they're just taut. It's so funny, because I used to wear skinny pants that were like skinny to the gods, and now I like don't want anything that's like clinging to my body. Oh, <sighs> fashion is so weird. Okay. I also feel like this is kind of weird, the socks with the white pants. <laughs> We're going to trust the process because she looks adorable, but I think it's her pants. I think her pants are cuter. You have the Birkenstock Boston's. Do you also like refuse to remove the like tongue and have to just like finagle, finagle it in, you know, finagle, finagle? I have to. And I may have hit that sunless scanner a little too hard last night, if you know what I mean. It's very interesting of an outfit, but I love it. Yeah, her, like, she definitely has, like, cooler, more relaxed jeans on. So maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to donate these, because I have the Levi's ones that I like. And maybe I need to get, like, a looser pair. You know, it's always that, that like, decision on whether you alter the ones you already have or just invest in a different pair altogether. Because if I, do, I, if I alter these, then I feel like they might not work for somebody else, but I still think they just need to be wider in general for this look. So I don't think that this look is spot on, but a way that I would just kind of like change it is pair it with different shoes and probably not socks. It's just too skinny. <laughs> it's too skinny from like the ankle. Maybe these. that's why they don't sell these things anymore because they just, they aren't a vibe. Anyway, like I would wear this exact same outfit. Hear me out. These are super, super wrinkly. Let's swap. Hold on. How to phone. I wish I wore these with the second outfit too. Ignore the fact that they're wrinkled. I did not plan on using them for this video. But these give a much better, much better vibe. And I probably wouldn't wear the socks. But if you're cold, wear the socks. Yes, this, so much better. Like I said, if you have looser pants, this will work, but if not, get a looser pant. It's similar enough. I would just use these. I think that alleviates need for a wider white leg jean. A wider leg white denim would be these. That's why I don't own them, because I already have something like it. Okay. See? Proof that you don't need to go buy everything new. As I'm like, yeah, don't buy everything new. I need this. No, you don't. These, perfect. This gets the job done, and I actually like it better. So, how'd I do <laughs> with my very improvised look number four? I think it's super cute. I love a crisp, like, not crispy, but just like this look of like really white, light pants with like a denim. It's everything. I think it's so cute. Yes, okay. Nailed it. Okay, and she didn't have a bag, but look how cute this bag is. I just got this from Target yesterday. I wanted like a straw sort of tote. Um, I only have one straw bag and it's circular and it's like, um, like a crossbody and I wanted like a tote like this. And I didn't know if I loved the black straps. I wanted brown straps, but I thought this would still look cute. And it was a really good price. And I liked the style, the structure and the shape of this. It's got a really large bottom, it still has the cardboard in it and the tag on it. But this is a thing that I would wear. Like this is a great um, beach bag, it'd be a great farmer's market bag because it's got structure to it. And I also thought it'd be cute for like um, Cabo specifically. Throw things in it for when we're exploring. You can wear it like this. I love it. I think this is such a good, good bag. So this is what I would probably wear with this and then sunnies because yeah this isn't an I'm exploring Cabo sort of outfit exploring 
the city, whatever it is. I love it. I love a higher button up here and then like a look like this. Cute. Let's move on to outfit number four, the final one. Okay, look number four is for the girls who are already already in the thick of spring. Maybe you live in Texas where it's already like 90 degrees, okay? Um, or you're going on spring break or something like that. This outfit is perfect. She has more of like a loose kind of fit uh, to her shorts. I don't. I only have like white linen trouser shorts that I finally found. If you watched my last video, I couldn't find them last time. But like my last video, you can always swap these for long linen pants if you live in a cooler place. But just a white butt or just a white t-shirt with this sweater. I just think this monochromatic-ish look, very neutral, light neutrals is super cute. So we're going to keep this going. And I can't see what her shoes are, but I have a good option I think will work. So let's go ahead and move on to outfit number four. Oh, all right. So she is styling it with like pull on shorts like this, but I only have structured ones. So we're going to try it both ways for funsies um, to see if I like it with the pant, the pants. No, why do I say words like that sometimes? The pants or the shorts better. So my camera so rudely decided to stop filming me. So I put on this um, little like Hanes tee. This is a large. I love these shirts way more than I thought. Scott decided he didn't like them. Um, he's <laughs> is gonna kill me if he knows I said this. He said it was too rough on his nipples and it gave him nipple chafing. <laughs> Anywho, nonetheless, I love it, honestly. I think it fits super cute, but, and then, um, she has this little tan sweater. I can't see what shoes she has, I was saying. I would either go with like a neutral sneaker, I was saying, like either my Converse, but I applied the, or applied, I tried on these little Rakuten, Rattan, Rakuten. No, it's Rattan, like sandals that I got from Target, and I think they're really cute with it. These sandals are like, kind of like plasticky at the bottom, and so my foot moves weird and it's sweaty. It like farts, I'm like, that's not cool. Like I said, she's wearing shorts, but I wanted to try it with these. She, her um, sweater is a little bit longer. Well, maybe always has cardigans that are cute like this. This is such a cute look. I honestly love this. She's wearing like a very neutral bag and I bought a bag similar to that. It's still not shipped yet. Anyway, I could go red or I could go with my little Chloe bag. And I was thinking, could just take the strap off a bit. Whoa. Well, let's also try this look on with shorts and see what I think about it. I wouldn't necessarily, I think I want a looser bag than just this. Like a less structured. This is too structured, I feel like, for this outfit. Personally, but I like this a lot. Let's try on the shorts and see... What do you think about it with a more structured short? I don't, mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, I like this. This works. So, yep, this is how I would wear it. I feel like linen pants is basically like wearing no pants because they're so breezy and see-through, but did you just hear that foot fart? What the frick? This would drive me nuts. And I feel like to top off this neutrally look, go with my like tortoiseshell sunnies which are absolutely felt like what do I do with these I feel like my toddler sunglasses are cleaner than mine anyway this is so cute so like this reminds me of just like California coastal beach vibes I love it there we go look number four all right you guys that's it those are my four spring Pinterest outfits that I recreated using my own wardrobe. As always, I love making these because I think it shows you that you don't have to go out and buy all new things every time you like an outfit or anything like that. You can really look within your own wardrobe and I bet you, you have these sort of basics. And if you don't, it's a great place to start if you continue to pin the same things. You will see so many of the same items in these videos because I pin things that I like and I'll own things that I already like. So if you're missing those two things, like if you're pinning a bunch of outfits and you're noticing you don't have those clothes, why? Um, because clearly that's where your eyes drawn to. And if that's the case, make a list, start shopping a little bit smarter with those sort of things and kind of recreate your own capsule, if you will. So as always, let me know what your favorite look was down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one real, real soon.